the attackers of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are worthless. They're worthless. Let me give you a, a practical example. See, when Allah subhanahu wa taala talks about the sun in the Quran, He calls it a siraj, a siraj, a lamp, an illuminating lamp, a lamp that uh, you know brings light. That's how Allah subhanahu wa taala describes the sun. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says about him, وَدَاعِيًا إِلَى اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَسِرَاجًا مُنِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, describing him that he is a one who invites to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his permission, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he is an illuminating lamp. So in essence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah is comparing our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the sun. Just like the sun comes out every single day and it lights up the world and it brings a lot of uh, goodness to it and we can't live without the sun, so was the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's an illuminating lamp to the entire of humanity. But let me, what does this have to do with you saying that these people are worthless? Let me make the connection for you right here. See, my dear brothers and sisters, there are certain creatures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created who don't like the sun, who'd rather be in the darkness, who are scared of the light, who love the darkness. For example, the cockroaches. Cockroaches are creatures that hate the sun. And just likewise, they hate our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to compare those who attacked the Prophet ﷺ through this ridiculous film uh, and say that they are like cockroaches, because if I do that, I would actually be insulting the cockroaches. Because these people are really even less than a cockroach that we would step on with our foot if we find it in our home. These people are people who don't want the light, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the light that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has brought to humanity. And there are many people who, you know, who came by and, and they have left and they have died and their names are not mentioned ever again in history. But one of the most popular names in history is the name Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh, almost in every family there's at least one person whose name is Muhammad. And let me tell you uh, kind of a funny story, but it has a true meaning to it, of how much people love the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and how much people, uh, even the simple people, have this love for our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I know a man, and this man has five children, okay? And uh, he, he's an Arab man, so he, when he would call his son, he would say, Yawad, meaning, oh, you boy, okay? So he would call his, his sons, uh, a boy and then whatever, you know, the, the name that, that he named him, whatever the name is, until he comes to his, to his son's name, Muhammad. So he would call all the other four sons something, and then the fifth son, he would call him something different, because his name is Muhammad. He would call him Yashik Muhammad, subhanAllah. A simple man, and this is his simple way of expressing his love for our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he does it by even respecting his little boy and calling him a sheikh, even though he's the old man and this boy is maybe two or three years old. Because his name is Muhammad, he calls him Sheikh Muhammad instead of calling him Yawad Muhammad or Oh boy Muhammad, like he would call his other sons Oh boy such and such. People who are revering the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And if these protests that we've seen in many different parts of the world, in Muslim countries and in other parts of the world, have shown us anything, is that all of us, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Amin, Allah subhanahu wa taala has made it part of our fitrah, part of our natural inclination to the truth, to love our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even those who are disobedient, who are not following the commandments of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inside of them is the love of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And of course, for them I say, take advantage of that love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in your heart and follow the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the first point, my dear brothers and sisters, as we said, is that the attackers of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam are worthless. Cockroaches cannot even be compared to them because as I said, I would be insulting the cockroaches if I compare them to these people. 